my channel. So today we're going to be doing a, what should I call this, new home decor haul. New home, new home decor haul. New home decor haul? New home, de whatever. So since we bought this house, we are changing up a lot of the decor and we got rid of a lot of things from our other house. Um, so we've been splurging a little bit and buying some new items and I thought I would share with you guys. We have Ross, Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Amazon. Um, I started putting some of this stuff away already so I don't have everything, but I have a good chunk of everything. Um, so let's start. Let's start with Ross because I have a few things from Ross. So we actually went to Ross today and we, so we went to the container store first and I wanted those baskets that you see everyone have in their pantry, those wicker natural um, looking baskets. They kind of look a little bit like this um, and they're completely sold out of like every single color and they won't have them in stock till April. And those are the ones that you can't even order online or anything like that because of such a, it's such a high demand. Um, and we were going to order them, but then I was like, no, I'll just see if I can find any baskets at like home goods or something. Cause you know, sometimes you can, oh, actually I did get more and I already put them away, but I'll have them after. Um, but I was like, no, I'll just wait. So I ended up finding these at Ross, which I'm actually really happy about. I got all three of them that I found. Um, this big one was $9.99, um, and it's from the brand storage bin, storage bin and crafted in Vietnam. So it just looks like this. Uh, it is like this natural wicker and like white. Um, and it's really, really big. Um, I'm gonna try to put it in my pantry because um, it's super cute. And I ended up finding that big one and then they had a medium sized one for $5.99, same design, exact same thing. And then a smaller one for $3.99, same thing. So I got all three sizes. Um, I'm going to put them in my pantry, and if they don't look good in my pantry, then I'll just put them somewhere else in the house for storage. Um, so I was really happy about that because I really wanted this style. Um, and yeah, so I got those. I think they're going to look really cute. Um, hopefully we can put them inside the pantry. And hopefully I can find like a few more. I know sometimes it's, you just have to keep looking for them. So I'm going to keep trying because my pantry is driving me nuts already. So yeah, I got that at Ross today. So the boys are sharing a room in this house and we're gonna put bunk beds and stuff in there. But Atlanta's super into dinosaurs right now, so we're actually gonna make it a dino theme. Um, since his room, his nursery used to be like safari. And then recently I actually changed it to like a little bit of dino. I started doing dinos and then we ended up moving. Um, so I have a few dino pieces for his room already. Um, so I ended up finding this, and this was $9.99 at Ross. Um, so it's just like a storage little bin, um, and it has dinos on it. He's super, he loves Stegosaurus, T-Rexes, and Triceratops. So the fact that they have these three on there were super cute. Anyway, did you notice that? That these have, it says Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and that's his three favorite dinosaurs. So yeah, we got this one, and it's blue, with like gray, and his, um, the other dino signs that I have are actually blue. Um, so I think it'll be really cute in his room, or their room, I should say, because they're sharing a room. We ended up getting Landon a full-size mattress a while ago, um, just because we noticed he was starting to fall out of a twin bed, or his toddler bed. So we ended up getting him a full-size mattress, and we're looking for a full-size, a double full bunk beds for them, and I'm having like, a really hard time uh, finding one that I like, so I'm on with like, the stairs instead of the ladder. But we do have one mattress so far because Asher is still in our bed. Um, so, yeah. But I ended up finding this at Ross and I was like, I need it. Um, it's a full size comforter with two standard shams and one decorative pillow. This is $24.99. Um, and it looks like this. Sorry, TV is on. I want an extra light in here. So, if there's a glare. Um, so, it looks like this. It is blue with orange um, and yellow, and it's 
kind of simple, but it's, I don't want his room to be too babyish, but I want it to him still see and enjoy it. Um, so I feel like this looks more like a big boy room, kind of. Um, so we're going to do his or whatever bottom bunk, whoever has the bottom bunk, is going to have this comforter set on it. And I think the top bunk is going to have just all navy blue. Um, so it kind of like pulls from the other um, items in the um, room. And I think I don't want to have two of the same comforters because then I feel like it's really cheesy. And they're not twins. They're just brothers. So I think this will be really fun in their room and it has like a little bit of dinosaurs everywhere and then the best part is it has a dido pillow on there and i think that's so cool and so fun um he hasn't seen this we told him we have a surprise room but we haven't done it because like again i want to just have him be at my mom's house or something um and then just do his whole room so that both the boys can see it um i sure won't really understand it fully um he'll just kind of see the room and be excited um but asher asher will be excited Landon will be really excited because he'll actually understand how cool it is. So we did get that piece. Um, and this is from Luke and Lola. If I can find any of these items, I'll try to look it up online. And if I can find any, I'll link it down below. Or if I can find anything similar, I'll link it down below as well for you guys. Um, but this was a major find for me. Uh, we went in there to look for baskets, actually. And we ended up seeing this. I was like, and I needed, I needed to get it because it was just like meant to be. Um, so yeah, got that. And it's really hard to find full-size comforter sets for, like, toddlers or, like, kids. So, got that. What else did I get at Ross? I just got that at Ross, I think. Yeah, it was those three items. So, next I'll go to the container store. We went to the container store, like I said, for those baskets. And we could not find those baskets at all. Uh, they, both of the colors were completely sold out. But we did find other things at the container store, which I'm really excited about. The first thing was this basket. You guys how cute is this so it's a storage container basket so it's like for the toy chest um and it's just collapsible and it's a lion and we're gonna put this in their playroom um so their playroom i think i'm gonna make it kind of like animal themed so yeah we got this and i think this was 29.99 i think it was 29.99 it could have been 39 but i think it was 29 i think 39 i would have paid that i think it was 29.99 it is collapsible um and it's pretty flimsy but i think it's good enough for like the kids um, just to kind of store some toys in there. Um, what else did we get at the container store? Let's go here. Um, I also found this, um, what is this called? Coat rack. Um, it's just a natural pine. Um, and this was $14.99 at the container store. This is super cute. Um, we actually had, at the rental house, we had a um, coat rack. And we actually like, really enjoyed it. So we decided to get one, and we're going to actually put it in the garage, since we'll most likely use the garage for everything. Um, so that way we can just store all of our coats in there. Since we don't actually have a mudroom anymore, our other house, we had kind of like a walkway and a coat closet that we used to put everything in. We don't have that anymore, since that's just not how our house is set up. But we'll have this in the garage. We can at least hang our coats in the garage. It was only $14.99, and it wasn't a bad price, so we grabbed that. Next thing we found was this. Um, it is a what is this called? A filing box, I guess you can call that. Call it that. Um, it's just easier to store everything away. Um, we have a lot of files that we need to go through um, and kind of store away, just because obviously you're supposed to keep a lot of your things on file for like I think it's like ten years or something like that, um, just in case anything happens so we thought this would be nice to kind of just store it away it's a really good size i believe this one was 20 dollars, maybe i know it was less than 30. um so we got this one and we actually ended up scoring and we searched the clearance section which i love clearance um and we ended up finding these legal size file folder set um it's a package of 12 and these are originally 14 dollars we got three of them Where the last one? Oh, should we this up? I thought I got three of these. Oh no, we did it because they were 12 in each one. That's right. 
So we got two of these ones. Um, they were there's 12 in each one, and these were $14.99, and we ended up getting them for $7.47. Um, so see, we got two of the sets, and these are the ones that like you can actually have the little clip on them. So it goes into the cabinet um, filing box really easily, or filing cabinet. Um, and then we ended up getting four of these ones because they are packs of six, and these were on clearance. Originally $5.99, they were on clearance for $2.97, so we got four of these to put inside um, just so we can be a little bit more organized because we've been so disorganized with our files lately and we need to get ourselves back in check. So we got those. Okay, we actually found this and I think this was $16, it's a little bit pricey, but it's a weekly, plan, a weekly meal planner um, by Mom Agenda. Again, I'll try to link everything that I can below. Um, but it was really cool because it actually has like Monday through Sunday and it's like all the groceries that you need, meal plan, and then my week, like a.m., noon, and p.m. And it kind of just looks like this. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of like get my life in check and it actually has a magnet so you can put it on the side of the fridge. I probably won't just because I like it pretty bare. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be kind of cool to like get myself back in. The next thing we got was this notepad. It says to do and divide. Do you remember how much this notepad was? I can't remember. No, this one. I think this was like six dollars or something. Um, I told him like usually the Dollar Tree you can get these for like a dollar, but um, this one was cool because it's to do and to buy. And right now we need a lot of things to buy, so I guess whatever. This is cute. Got that. Okay. My thing from the container store. This store was dangerous. It's like an organized person's candy shop. I could have spent so much more money there, but some things were really overpriced. I kept trying to compare certain things to like Amazon. Like this first thing, um, I actually already put it in my pantry, but this is the box of it. Um, it is a snack turntable. I saw Tiffany Beeston actually talk about this. Um, and on Amazon, I believe it's like thirty dollars. And Cop Cop Copco Copco Copco. I think that's the brand. Um, I saw a similar one on Amazon for thirty dollars, and they actually had this one on sale right now for twenty three dollars in the Container Store. So we got this one, and I already set it up and put it in my pantry, and I love it. So Cause I think I saw a sign that it was like kitchen and dining, twenty percent off or something. Did you see that sign? I'm pretty sure the kitchen and dining had a sale. That's the reason why it was um, on sale. Um, we ended up getting a scrub daddy. My mom said they were really good, so got one of those. It's like rough though. I'm soft in warm water and firm in cool water. It does feel like styrofoam. Um, I'm scratch free, odor resistant. My eyes provide an Your little fingers. Those are your fingers. Um, so yeah, my mom's scrub daddies are good. So I don't know. I, I think I see that on TikTok. So we got that. The next thing I found was this fridge bin. It holds nine cans. Um, this one was fifteen dollars. I think it was. It was on sale as well. Is it the can one or the, the fridge? This is the can. Well, no, this is for the fridge. That's it. This is for the fridge. It's not what. It's nine. I don't know, that's weird. A lot of things too, like even the egg cartons, it was like 15. Who buys 15 eggs? Right? That's weird. Um, but it holds it nine. And it, but this one, what I liked is they have ones without the top on Amazon for I think like $10. Um, and this one was on sale for 15 but it has the hard top so you can store like two of these on top of each other or even more items like on top like you put yogurt on top of here or something without disturbing like having to move one thing does that make sense you can store more on top and still be able to use this and access this which is kind of cool because when you have something like this you kind of lose fridge space but you still have the fridge space on top um, and I know I saw on Amazon a same similar one to this one with the top for like 20 something dollars. So I ended up getting this one for 15 because it was on sale. And we've been wanting something like this for inside the fridge. 
we still want um we saw this thing on tiktok a while ago because we have an outside fridge and we really want a dispenser what is it a, so a, 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 a drink dispenser for the one outside the fridge one it's like the things that are in the uh it's like the things that are in like those vending, the soda like machines, like vending machines. Uh, we saw on TikTok a while ago. We were like set on getting one. They're kind of pricey though, but we want one for the outside first. So like when you take one drink, the rest of them kind of like push yeah, forward. Yeah. They're like gas stations, yeah. But we want one of those for outside. But this will be nice for like the inside cans and stuff like that. So we got that, and then we also ended up getting this step stool for <laughs> inside the house. Landon thought this was his. He goes, no, this is mine. Um, this was twenty dollars. I think it was nineteen ninety nine for this one. Um, but this is it holds up to thirty three hundred pounds. Um, and it's fifteen point five inches high. So yeah, it's taller. So you know, I could probably reach the top of. We probably keep this inside the pantry, so I could actually reach the top of the pantry. Um, so we got this one. We have a similar one to this, but shorter, and it's actually Landon's. Um, for what when he used to use the bathroom and stuff, and we're always using it, so might as well. And I actually saw this today at Bed Bath & Beyond, the same one, the taller one. I think it was $24.99 or $29.99. It was like I, way more expensive, and I was like, kind of shocked because I thought this was kind of pricey. Um, but I know I got like a smaller one on Amazon, like the shorter one for $10 bucks for Landon, so I guess it just depends on where you find it. So that was... Container surf, sorry, taxi. Um, Amazon. We got some of these containers, which at the container store, these are so expensive. Like they were so expensive at the container store. Yeah, they were like really expensive. Um, so I ended up getting a package of one, two, three, four, five, six of them for I want to say it was like 23 bucks. So these don't have lids compared to like this one, but you could, maybe not this one, it's a little, much. maybe like this one. You could store like this one on top of this one inside the fridge. Uh, what are you doing? Nifty. I think this is a soda one too. Or a can one. Yeah. It looks like it, huh? Look, you can actually probably store both of these. For like a double can. Um, I ended up getting this set for like $23 or something like that. And we're going to either use them in the fridge or even in the pantry or underneath the sinks. Um, I don't know. But I feel like the more containers that I have, the more I'm going to organize. Doubtful, but we're going we're gonna to try to get there. Me and Cameron are um, going to try our best to be adults in this house. And be organized. <laughs> um, I forgot to show you guys because I already put it away, but I also got these bins from TJ Maxx yesterday. I've been to TJ Maxx like every single day since moving here, but I got those, like I got what was it? Three sets? Six sets. I think there's six individual things, and I already organized our bathroom closet, and it already makes me feel like accomplished to have like an organized bathroom still needs some more work but it's getting there and it looks just better so i found those containers on amazon so i'll link them down below uh, for the ones that i used in the bathroom um they're just like white kind of like woven um and they're really cute and they made my bathroom look really cute so i ended up getting a down comforter um from pure and i will show them on my instagram soon so um because of that, we end up getting, well, no, we end up getting a king bed. So now we have a king bed and we've never had a king bed before. Um, so we have to get like everything all new. And so we found this three piece duvet cover set to go over the down cover that we got. I didn't realize that when you bought a king bed that you actually need king pillows for your bed. So our little like pillows that we normally have, well, this is nice, this is soft. Um, the pillows that we have are like a little small for our bed. Oh yeah, we need new pillows. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got this one duvet cover sheet. What? This three-piece duvet cover set 
Um, it's from Luxury Bedding Collection. It was like $19.99, I think. It was really inexpensive. Um, so I got this one. There's another one I wanted from Target, but it was way too much money. So we're going to go with that one for now. And then eventually if we want something else, then we'll get something else. But at least for now, a little protector down cover that we have. Is that all I got from Amazon? These. Oh. <laughs> got some slippers for Cameron because his other one's stuck. <laughs> and then we got some baby magnets because Asher gets into everything. And Asher and Landon were way too smart in our old house and they knew how to use, what were the other ones? Like push down? Yes. Yeah, they were like, you like open and you kind of like push them down to open it up completely. My kids are too smart and they were able to open those. So this time we got the, they're like magnets. So they go like inside and out. You need like a magnet to unlock it and open it up. They're gonna be so pissed <laughs> when they try to get inside the cabinets. Then the TJ Maxx and Home Goods like too many times to count. I got a bunch of stuff already, but it's already put away. But some of the stuff that I did grab to still show you guys were these wood and marble, what are these called? Coasters. Um, they're really, really pretty. These were $7.99. They're so pretty. I got something kind of similar, but with actually without the, what is this, like holder. Um, and they're wood and marble, and they were like $13 at Target. Those are really cute too. Um, I got them for my mom and actually my sister-in-law. Um, but I got, oh. I don't think she watches these videos. So um, I got something kind of similar and I really like this. And this actually matches, um, what is that called? Like a cake stand, a tray, a cake stand. What is that called? What is that thing called? That like stand that I have for like, the cake. With the, I don't know. It's like the, where you can put a cake and it has like a dome on it. Just, <laughs> I don't know what those are called. What are they called? I don't know, but it looks like that and the bottom has wood and then the middle part actually has like this uh, marble material. Um, so it kind of matches like the kitchen, I guess. So we got this one and then we got these two canisters, jars, I don't know. They just look like this. Um, one of them says sugar and one of them says coffee. They actually have sugar and coffee in them right now, so I have to be really careful. And these were actually $5.99 each. Um, they had so many different colors and prints and stuff. They had black, all black ones with like the white decals, but I liked these two the best. They're really, really cute. So I got this. Um, and the wood matches and the white. Super cute. So I got that. I got this wreath. This was $24.99 has like the, I don't know what kind of leaves these are, but it has like the black and white bow on it. I was gonna put this in my front door, but now I kind of want to put it inside my house in like this little nook that we have. I don't know yet. I found this really, really pretty black mirror with these wooden beads on the hanging part, portion of it. I don't know. Um, I wanted it for the entry. I wanted like a black circle mirror for the entry. Um, but the wall is like kind of small, so the big circle mirror that I wanted was going to be way too big. And I found this one, and I was, I was so in love with it as soon as I saw it. I was like, I need this now in my life. Um, I want Karen to put it up ASAP, but he doesn't want to hang anything on the walls. Um, so that's like the thing he hates the most. Um, but I'm so obsessed with this thing. This is so beautiful. This was, what is this? Uh, $49.99. Whoa. So it looks like this. So it's, oh, you guys can see everything in my house right now. My house is crazy. Um, but it's just like a big, huge black circle mirror. But then it has these wood, like natural wood beads. Um, and it's so pretty. Like this is actually a really good size. This is gonna look so pretty in like the little entryway. I needed this as soon as I saw it. Um, it's from a certain brand. I don't know. But this was $49.99, like I said, and there's only two of them, I think, when we went there. Um, so I was so obsessed with that, I had to have it. I actually like, kind of want this like in my bedroom. 
but it doesn't really go with like our bedroom. Um, so lastly, the last two big things we bought. We bought the TV, but that's in my Costco haul, so I don't know which baby we're going to see first, but we ended up buying this Shark A A1. Is it A1 or AI? I don't know. AI. Um, AI. Um, robot Vacuum Mop Pro. Um, we've been really wanting one of these, like, robot vacuums, I don't know, for a while since our whole main level is tile, and we have three dogs, and vacuuming is kind of a pain in the ass, and... Mopping is also painting ass down here. So we thought something like this would be nice to kind of help us keep up. And it's actually, it works with Alexa, which is really nice since our house is a smart home. It's actually equipped with Alexa as well. So Alexa is just going to run our house. Um, it reminds me of like, what is that? What is that movie? Smart home? What is it? No. Smart house. It's a Disney one? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Our literally house is going to be that and it's going to take over our life. But... Um, yeah, so since this is like Alexa, we thought this would be nice to kind of just like help keep up with vacuuming this main level, um, and then mopping the main level and vacuuming it, and then, you know, we can still go in and vacuum as needed, but to kind of help us in the day to day. And this was actually, we got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, and they actually price matched to Amazon, because this was only $3.24 on Amazon right now. Um, I'll link it down below, um, and I'll let you guys know how we like it. Because we were, we were kind of tossed between this one and the Bissell Wave. Wait, Bissell Wave? We wanted the Dream Tech. Yeah, we wanted like the Dream Dream Tech that we saw on TikTok. But it's completely sold out. So thanks, TikTok. Um, the last thing, and the reason why this is such a light box too, nothing's in it right now. Um, we also end up getting this. We already set it up and we used it and we're obsessed. Is it Breville? 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 Reveal, reveal. Um, the Barista Express. Um, we this is probably a better way of seeing it. Um, we really enjoy espresso over like coffee, and Cameron's now obsessed with Starbucks. So we thought this would probably be better. Hopefully, to have him drink more coffee at home. Um, so my mom actually has the same exact espresso machine, and we really like how it works. Um, it is a little pricey, but we ended up. Getting this at Bed Bath and Beyond again. I think it's it's originally six ninety nine. It's on sale right now for five ninety nine, but they gave us twenty percent off. So we ended up paying four seventy nine for this espresso machine, which is actually like a really good deal. Um, I think on Amazon right now this is four ninety nine on Amazon, and we were gonna price match it to that, but she ended up giving twenty percent off. So if you can go get this at Bed Bath and Beyond with a twenty percent off coupon. Do it because it's five ninety nine right now. Um, they have the other one. Whoa, uh, that's a step up from this one. And instead of this little thing, it's like a touch screen and it's like electric. Um, that one's seven ninety nine right now. Um, you probably could use per the twenty percent off that one as well. Um, but we got this one, and I'm so happy. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Like we left and we were so excited because it's like the first adult purchase. That we've had. Like we've been wanting one for a couple years now, um, and we finally just like bit the bullet and got one. And that was actually a really good deal. Like four seventy nine for that espresso machine when it's originally six ninety nine. Are you pacing around? Great deal. So that is all so far that we've gotten for home decor stuff and things for the house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.